As we approach Maine's 200th birthday next March, it's important to remember all of the steps we took along the way to statehood. Take December 6th, for instance. That was the day a statewide vote was held to approve Maine's newly written constitution. But at the time, most Mainers didn't know that part of it was being criticized by one of America's founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan explains why. Thomas Jefferson returns thanks to General King for his kind communication of the Constitution of Maine, which he finds marked with wisdom. The letter from the author of the Declaration of Independence is still here in the archives of the Maine Historical Society. A document, says historian Herb Adams, that shows how Maine's founding father, William King, hoped for support from one of the founders of the nation. And he sent the Constitution to President Jefferson for his opinion at the same time that it had been sent out to the people of the District of Maine. And Jefferson wrote back, praising the document and its ideas, except for one thing. Except that of representation. Equal representation is so fundamental a principle in a true republic that no prejudices can justify its violation. That issue, says Adams, was about the number of representatives to the legislature from the two largest incorporated towns or cities, Portland and Wells. They were allowed multiple representatives instead of just one. Jefferson didn't like it because he felt it represented the influence of big things over little things. Uh, Jefferson always said great cities are great sores, and he looked upon any place of 8,500 people as a big city. But the letter also shows Jefferson believing the new Constitution would eventually be changed, and it was, after a U.S. Supreme Court ruling more than 140 years later, one person, one vote, that required individual electoral districts. And that letter may not be Thomas Jefferson's only connection to Maine's Constitution. Herb Adams says a piece of the language in the document about education is widely believed to have been written at the request of William King by Jefferson himself. Basically saying that it is the responsibility of the state to make sure the towns pay for education. And that is in the Constitution of Maine to this day. And Thomas Jefferson was always said by William King to be the author of that very piece. Now we've not found the piece of paper on which he wrote it yet, but who knows, that may turn up. Maine voters overwhelmingly supported the new Constitution in December of 1819, likely never knowing the role played by such a famous American. In Portland, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. Yeah, nice to have Thomas Jefferson weighing in on how we do things. Right. Yeah, we don't have actual film of him, unfortunately. No, <laughs> we Shocking. lost that.